Some of the rain that we received um, in early April provided some really good benefits uh, really to the central and lower portions of the basin, particularly around Lake Somerville. Um, that watershed received around four to six inches of rain uh, from April 5th through the 7th. And you know, that filled that reservoir completely. It was about 2.6 feet low at the time. Also that event uh, provided stream flow into the main stem of the river that had been low uh, in the previous weeks as well. So currently the BRA water supply system is in stage one drought watch, which is a 5% reduction in, in water use. And Lake Proctor is in stage three drought emergency, which is a required 20% reduction in water use. Overall, the BRA water supply system is 76% full and it's storing about 1.46 million acre feet of water across all 11 reservoirs uh, within the conservation pools. If we look back to 2022, you know, this part of the year last year, we, di we didn't receive our normal spring rains and that obviously exacerbated drought conditions. Current long-term forecasts do indicate over the next two weeks, you know, we're gonna see above normal rainfall or at least the probabilities of above normal rainfall. So that's, that's good news as far as areas of, of the basin that, that are drought impacted. At this time, in, in the next two weeks, we don't really see any changes uh, to the drought stages. We'll have to, to monitor things and, and how uh, this rainfall over the next couple of weeks impact that. But, but right now, we, we don't see much in the way of changes in, in new reservoirs entering uh, new drought stages at this time. The BRA water supply system is operating as it's designed. It captures water during wetter times uh, for use during drier times, such as what we've been experiencing over the last 18 months or so. There's substantial amounts of, of water that is still stored in the reservoirs, um, but we are looking at where rainfall develops and the potential for, for recovery. Water conservation measures and strategies are, are really always important, independent upon hydrologic conditions. Evaluating how you use water at your homes, businesses, and industries can help you determine and recognize the most efficient way to use water and reduce unnecessary water usage.